York is an enormous incubator and accelerator of change. But the past is never completely effaced. It's never completely eradicated. A New York City, so diverse, things changing so fast. You, you just cannot have one click like, yeah, this, this is the picture I can represent New York City. When you looking at my photograph, it looks hyper real, but they are not real. And that creates an imagery that can represent that particular place, one period of time. One of the elements we're most excited about in New York at its core is taking early views of the New York City area, projecting them so large, then those antique views dissolve into Jeff Liao's wonderful modern uh, photographic renderings of the precise same spots. These images reveal how quickly New York grew into the city we know today, and in some areas, well within a single century. By the 1860s, New York City is the great metropolis. It is the financial hub of the Western Hemisphere. It's the busiest seaport. It's the coming city. You also have these outlying districts. They're landscapes in transition. You have immigrants coming into New York City and moving into these rural communities. When we were looking for an image that could represent the Bronx, view of Melrose really stood out. It's a view of Melrose in the Bronx in 1868. A print like this is extremely different from a photograph. The artist would go out to the site and sketch. They might sit there all day. A person that the artist saw walking by in the morning and a carriage that got sketched driving by in the afternoon would end up in the same lithograph to capture the spirit of the place. It really makes it a huge challenge to locate the exact site where a drawing was taken in the 19th century because the ground has changed under your feet. The key thing that helped me was figuring out that the street grid hadn't really changed. There was no hill, but there were these big housing towers. By going to the top of the housing tower, you can kind of recapture that view that you would have gotten from a building on top of this hill. Every single row is still there. And the middle row in the middle, we're going to shoot at the same point. When I go out to shoot, the formula is slightly different. So you don't know what you're going to end up with. But that's the fun part. It's really amazing looking at the history of Melrose because it's so dramatically different. It went from being this rural, small village to a hundred years later just being incredibly dense and urban. We have a photograph taken in the 1970s in our collection um, from this same building of this same view. And you can just see the incredible density of buildings and businesses in that photograph. And actually, when you look today, it's become less dense. The Bronx is continuing to change. Even though the buildings have changed so dramatically and the built environment of the city has changed so dramatically, that thread of people coming to the Bronx to live and work and start a life in New York City is there in this lithograph and it's there today.